Okay, hello and good morning. Let's take a look here. All right, so I want you to expand it first. So this is in the hundreds, so it's going to be 1, 2, so it's going to be 2 times 10 to the second power plus 7 times 10 to the first power plus 9 times 10 to the zero power. Here is going to be 8, so it's going to be 8 times 10 to the first power plus 8 times 10 to the zero power. And so when you add this up, you're going to add up these front numbers. So you're going to get 17 here times 10 to the zero power. And then here you're going to get 15 times 10 to the first power. And then this one is just going to stay as 2 times 10 to the second power. However, this one right here is more than 10. So you're going to add one here, and you're going to make this 7 times 10 to the 0 power. This right here is 16, and that's more than 10, so you're going to add one here. And that's going to be 6 times 10 to the first power. And then here you're going to get 3 times 10 to the second power. And this is your answer right here when you add it. When you subtract it, well, let's talk about that. When you subtract here, you have to borrow because you don't have enough here. I'll make it a little darker. Okay, so here, um, you can't subtract 8 from 7. So you're going to borrow 1 here, but you're going to add 10 because you're going down. So that's going to be 17. And then 17, that's going to be 7, 8, 9. That's going to be 9 times 10 to the first power. 9 minus 8 is going to be 1 times 10 to the zero power. And then this one is going to be 1 times 10 to the second power. And that's how you subtract it. And that is number 2 on your bell work today. Let's take a look here. 4 to the 0 power. Well, anything to the 0 power is 1. Anything to the first power is itself. Okay? We're going to watch a video. But before we do that, copy this one down right here. All right, so I didn't talk about how to expand if you have a decimal, but I'm going to show you today. So this is in the tenth spot. So it's going to be 8 times 10 to the first power plus 3 times 10 to the zero power. That's what you were taught yesterday, but now we have decimals. This is going to be plus 7 times 10 to the negative 1. And what that is is uh, 7 tenths. So 7 over 10. You see, 10 to the negative 1 is really 1 over 10. And then times 7 gives you 7 tenths. Plus 0 times 10 to the negative 2, because you're in the second spot here. And uh, 6 times 10 to the negative 3. There's no 0 on this side. It just goes negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And that's what you're going to be doing today. Okay, we're going to watch a video again on converting to a different base, and the link for that video will be in the description. All right, so let's look up here. If you can't be with us today, you can copy this worksheet. And there it is. Okay. And you can pause the video, or you can check the folder when you get back to school. Okay. Remember, it's your responsibility to get the work. If you ask the teacher, Teacher's going to tell you the same thing. Check the folder, check the videos, or get it from another student. Okay, so let's move on. We're going to turn our attention now to college algebra. So this one right here, I want you to find the domain. Remember, the domain is only your x's. So put domain 2, 3, and 12. On the next one, the domain is this cannot equal zero. So you set it equal to zero, and you solve it. So you move that over, and you get a negative 9. Divide by 3, and you get a negative 3. Now, x can be anything but not negative 3. So for number 2, it's going to be all real numbers, but not negative 3. Okay? How would that look? Let's say this is negative 3. It would be everything from negative infinity all the way up to 3, but 
not including 3. Okay? And it would be from 3 all the way to positive infinity, which would be this one. And that's how you would write it. Let's go to the next one. The next one, you actually have to factor this one. Okay, so watch carefully. So to factor this one, a negative and a negative on the chart, on the wall, means you're subtracting. So you're going to take 96 and break it down until you get 4. Well, that's 1 times 96. And that subtracts to give you 95. Okay? 2 times, 2 goes into that 4, 48, I think. That subtracts, but that gives you 46. 3 does work, actually. 3 goes into that 3 times, 2 times. That does not work. 4 in the 96. So you might need your calculator. So 96 divided by 4 equals 24. That subtracts to give you 20. We don't want 20. We're shooting for 4. Okay. Let's keep going. 5 doesn't work because it doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. 6. I don't know. 96 divided by 6. 16. That gives me 10. I don't want 10, so I keep going. 7, I don't think, works. Okay, So 96 divided by 7 does not work. 8. I think 8 does work. So 96 divided by 8 equals 12. And that's the one we want right there, because 12 minus 8 equals 4, which is the middle term. Right there. So, so this one's going to factor. Let me move this up a little bit. This one's going to factor as x minus, maybe, 8 and 12. 8 and x and 12. We want a negative with the bigger one and the plus here. So your two answers would be a negative 8, that would give me 0, and a positive 12. So it's going to be all real numbers, but not negative 8 and not negative 12. And I said that wrong. Not positive 8, right? Nope. This one is negative, that was right. But this one should be a positive 12, okay? Because 12 minus 12 is 0. So there it is. A negative 8 and a positive 12 cannot be in the domain. But other than that, anything works, okay? So today, if you can't be with us, today's worksheet's here. You can copy it down if you like. There it is. Okay, we're doing two things today. So on your worksheet, you're going to do the whole worksheet which I think is all domain. And then when you're done, you're going to open the book, and we're going to finish this section. Okay? If you are at home or you're missing the worksheet, you can copy it from the video. You just need to go by the date. And today's date is 11-2. There we go. Let's slide that up. Okay? And that's how you do this worksheet. And I'll see you guys in class. Have a good morning.